This is the in-flight news, presented for Qantas by the Nine Television Network of Australia. Hello and welcome to the Morning News. I'm Kiri Blankensop. Ahead in this bulletin, hundreds of residents forced to evacuate as flooding spreads across Britain. Also, miraculous escape to flee to safety as a car erupts into a fireball. And the failed magic trick that could land a TV star in jail. First this morning after months of intense speculation. Let's go to Kiri Blenkinsop in Canberra now. Kiri, good afternoon. What happened? Well, Amelia, as you say, Julie Gillard now has one-on-one -on -one meetings with India's political leaders, including the Prime Minister and the President. But it was this unfortunate moment leading up to her media conference this afternoon that snatched away the attention. Well, Amelia, we're up against Finland and Luxembourg for one of two temporary seats on the United Nations Security Council. Good afternoon, Tim. Well, we'll actually take up our seat at the beginning of next month. Our ambassador to the United Nations, Gary Quinlan, will attend Security Council meetings as an observer to start with before our active role begins in January. And the Weather Bureau says these steamy temps and strong winds are expected to hang around for at least the next few days. While Darren was inside struggling with the intruder, Bear here could sense something was terribly wrong. Now he actually ripped off this back roller door to get inside and help his owner. And while it doesn't look like much now, within the next few years this will be bustling with families. The newest development in the southwest already earmarked as one of the most prestigious. Many of the retailers we spoke to are concerned that measures to stop alcohol fueled violence in King's Cross could send troublemakers here to Oxford Street. Well, I've got my shoe and now I've got my dress. And I must admit, Belle from Beauty and the Beast was always a favourite princess of mine. Now all I need is a ring. Hello, Kiri. What's in store for our West tonight? Well, Sarah, basically it is a massive street party down here. And despite the rain, event organisers are expecting thousands of people to head down here to Church Street tonight. Now this is the first time Parramatta has actually hosted an opening night.